Welcome to Ollie's Garage. Today I'm going to be doing something that I've actually been wanting to do for the last few years. And that is I will be outfitting the bumpers on this vehicle with some Christmas lights. I went out, I finally purchased the parts, and we're going to give it a shot today. So just a few quick thoughts. This isn't going to be really a tutorial. This is me just outfitting my car for the holiday season. And I'm not exactly sure what the rules and regulations are across the world and if this is legal in your areas. This car also doesn't really get driven much in the rain anymore, and that's okay because with this setup, as you see, none of this is permanent, and it is not going to be a watertight system. A quick rundown of what's going to happen. I've got this right here, which can get connected to a 12-volt source. And then it's got this round socket so that I can plug something in that would fit into a cigarette lighter. And then this is my power inverter, which takes DC power and turns it into AC. And then from there, I can plug in my Christmas lights and it'll make them light up. First things first, these connectors are absolutely terrible. So I'm just gonna cut them off. Well, I misjudged how big this connector was. The heat shrink is definitely too small. That's okay, it's just the ground. My positive wire will get connected to this relay right here. This goes to my fog lights and I added this aftermarket, so I have no problem just tapping into the wire. And this will put the Christmas lights on the same switch as the fog lights, so I can turn them on and off. This is only temporary, otherwise I would hide this a little bit better because this is not the most attractive looking connection.
give it a test. Alright, I kind of like that. That looks good. Just gotta tidy this up a little bit. All right. All right, this tucked in really well right here and it's not going anywhere. It's also not gonna be rubbing on anything so that worked out well. And then the cable I just ran behind this radiator mount and down around here and just used a couple of zip ties. And then it's going underneath the car following the fuel line. So that should be very stable. And here we have the final product. I don't think it looks bad and it suits the season well. Wishing you all a Merry Christmas wherever you are in the world and also Happy New Year. Thanks for watching.